This is the definition of a bad shot. Zach Levine drives and sees four Grizzlies defenders in front. At this point, he should immediately recognize that there's an open guy. Instead, Levine goes all in on scoring, jumps, then maneuvers in the air and hits the backboard. The Bulls guard has widely been criticized for his shot selection and even though there's a huge potential for him to be a great scorer, he has to be smarter about it. Let me show you why. What up everybody, my name is Stefan and this is Heat Check. Let's get into it. Starting off with the most egregious examples. For some reason, Levine loves to go here in this area, then fade to the left, double clutch it and shoot right before landing. An incredibly difficult shot. So even if it looks funny, you can understand how he's able to shoot an air ball from inside the paint less than 15 feet away from the rim. Again, look at this. He's in front of the basket and still misses everything. Looking at these examples, it's unclear to me why Zach is adamant on trying them over and over again when the results are clearly horrible. Check out his shooting chart. Obviously the restricted area is going to be high since that's all dunks and layups. However, these are the shots that I'm talking about. In the paint but outside the restricted area. Right here, Levine shot 14 of 79, a horrendous percentage. And of course, the biggest reason for it are these shots. Even when he manages to make it, look how much effort it takes. It's a shame for such a quick and explosive player to waste energy on these low percentage attempts. Moving on, for some reason, Zach also likes to challenge big men and go chest to chest against them. But he doesn't have the size nor the strength, so you can see how it looks as if he hits a wall of bricks. Right here, he goes straight into Cantor even though he's in a perfect guarding position, bounces off of him and attempts a wild shot which ends up as an air ball. Almost the same exact thing once again right here in this situation. Also, sometimes he puts himself in such difficult positions that he has to put up a horrible shot and that results with this type of miss. Look at how bad some of these misses are. It even looks pretty amateur. This is how I would miss. And that's never a good thing if I can do the same as a max level NBA player. It's crazy what shot selection can do to a player's game. And the most criticized aspect of his game is the mid-range. Now, I myself don't see the mid-range by itself as the problem. We see Kawhi Leonard at 43%. Chris Paul at a phenomenal 54% and others being great in that area and using it as their weapon. The problem with Levine is that he likes to shoot it but he's not polished at it. The shots look raw and unnatural. Combine that with the fact that a lot of them are extremely difficult like these ones and you can see why he's shooting 34.5% here. And then compare that to his percentages from 3. 51% from the left corner, 44% from the right and 36% from the middle. Dude is more efficient from from 3 then from mid range which is crazy. Zach is the prime example for all the analytics driven people. There needs to be an adjustment. He can still shoot from here but lower the attempts and pick and choose when he does it so that he optimizes for efficiency. At the same time, increase the attempts from downtown and see what happens. It's clear that Zach Levine has a tremendous talent and physical abilities to be a great scorer but also a guy who can make plays for his team. Levine attracts so much attention that he must double his 4.2 assists per game from last season. And don't even try that whole thing about how the team is not good enough to make shots. I know that he can generate more open looks for them than this for example. His first step and his top speed are unmatched in this league. And you already know about his leaping abilities. The guy is crazy explosive. So use that and simplify the offense. With Billy Donovan on the team now, I expect a lot of nice actions to get him simple and easy opportunities. It's time for Zach Levine to finally mature and understand what it takes to be a great player. Starting off yet another series this offseason. Let me know which player you'd like me to break down next, either his good or his bad habits. That's it for now. Subscribe and talk to you in the next one. Peace out. Talking about bad shots, Jesus.